Welcome back. Well, if you're looking for a beautiful weekend getaway with the kiddos, we've got the place for you. You can be head out west to Medora for some good old family fun. Join us today from the Burning Hill Amphitheater. I cannot wait to see this place. Uh, Justin Fisk. Justin, welcome back to North Dakota Today. I know this show is one of the longest running shows maybe ever, but tell us what, what makes it so special. Oh, man. The Medora Musical. We've seen over 4 million people right here in this amphitheater behind me. And the Medora Musical has become a North Dakota tradition. It's something that people came to when we first opened in 1965 and they bring their grandkids today. And in some cases, we've had four generations of folks seeing the Medora Musical on one night together. All right, so I thought we were gonna have Justin Fisk on, but apparently this is Brad Pitt this morning joining us live uh, from Medora. <laughs> Dude, I love that you're rocking the shades. Hey, it's beautiful and sunny in the Badlands. I can't do it without the sunglasses, <laughs> but it's been a beautiful run of weather out here. And it's so nice to just kind of get into a whole different landscape in North Dakota. You can only get this kind of Badlands uh, geography just in our little corner of the state. I went to Medora growing up. I'm from Western North Dakota. We would go every year. My parents oh. still like to go out. They go out every year. What is it that uh, you think brings people back and brings families back? I have so many fond memories as a child, not just of the musical. There's so many things there that kids just eat up. You know, there's a ton of entertainment. And there's a ton of reasons to come to Medora. Taking in the Medora musical as a family, the Pitchfork Steak Fondue with a view like that is unbelievable. And uh, there's entertainment around town all the time for the kids and families. But really, the reason people come back is because of the feeling they get when they come into town and they drop down into the Badlands. It's a feeling of relaxation and it's a it's a feeling you can only get here in Medora. I love to tell in a newsroom, we get a lot of people from other parts of the country and I love to tell the new people you have to go to Medora before you move away from North Dakota. But there are a lot of people just who live in eastern North Dakota who haven't gone out there. So expand on the fact that it, the scenery is really different than the Red River Valley. Oh, well, it's almost otherworldly. People think sometimes you have to travel to the mountains uh, to see rugged terrain and new wildlife and have a hiking adventure but you just have to come over here to Medora. It's the home of Theodore Roosevelt National Park. This is the place where our 26th president decided that it was important to preserve pieces of our nation so our children and grandchildren could enjoy them. And that's what's happening today. You enter Medora, you can have a whole new adventure in a landscape that is unlike anything in the valley. And you can do it together with your family as aggressively on bikes or horses, or as laid back just on foot or in the car as you like. Justin, I, I don't know this because I haven't been out there. Lisa has, but I'm assuming every year the show's got a little bit different twist. So what makes this year's show special or different? Yeah, every year at the Medora Musical, we celebrate Theodore Roosevelt and the American West. We always have a little something for the kids to come on stage and a big patriotic finale. But <laughs> other than that, the show is different every year. Brand new music and a new theme and this year's theme is family because people have been coming here for over 50 years together uh, and family runs throughout the story of the badlands with theodore roosevelt himself the schaefers who founded the medora musical we brought that into the show and we celebrate family throughout the medora musical this year clearly you need to go he just said earlier that four million people have now seen <laughs> How have that you show. not That's amazing. We need to get you out there. So, Brad Pitt, thank you so much for joining us this morning. <laughs> we appreciate it. Justin Fisk, and if you want to get tickets, we've talked about the Bully Paul Pulpit as well, the great golf course. All you got to do is go to Medora.com. You can get your tee time, get your ticks. Which, by the way, one thing I want to find one more thing about, I always hear about, Justin, is the Pitchfork Fondue. What, mm. what is that exactly? Pitchfork Steak Fondue. We take steaks, we load them up on a pitchfork, and we fondue them Western style. Ooh from the Burning Hills Amphitheater behind me, and you gotta do it, dinner and a show. Good stuff. Justin, thanks a million, my friend. Again, Medora.com, and stick around. Much more coming up right after this.